Joe not being their head coach and how hard they play. You have to give credit to their kids and their coaching staff for continuing to coach and do their job. And uh, I was really proud of our guys, you know, being down at half and uh, coming back. And I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty, but when that ball went through the uprights, it was one of the prettiest things I'd ever seen. Uh, to come to death or to come to, excuse me, to come to um, LSU uh, at night and to win is hard anytime. And we're very, very, very proud to have the boot. And I'm proud of my coaching staff. That's right. it. Anybody else has got questions? Tom, why don't you get started? Sounds good. Hey, Sam, can you describe what the post game locker room was like if you were up to any shenanigans and what y'all talked about? You know, it's hard to describe uh, the kids. You know, I will say this, that that's why we coach. You know, if they took away that time, man, coaching wouldn't be near as fun. You know, when you win, you should celebrate. And that's what I told the kids. You know, the offensive guys were kind of halfway down. And, I mean, a little bit down. I mean, they were excited we won. But, man, when you win, you got to celebrate it. And that's exactly what they did. And we, we had a heck of a time. And, I never mentioned individual play the team, but I did did talk about Cam Little and and uh, Mo Brown. Okay, and then they had you it off rhythm. Awesome. They, they had you off rhythm with their blitzing in the first half. What did you do to to overcome that? And can you maybe speak to what KJ scrambling meant to you in this game? Well, we tried to throw some screens off of it and pick their linebacker, which wasn't successful. We tried to throw some bubbles out there, but we weren't doing a very good job of blocking on the edge. And we tried to throw a slant, and it didn't work. And uh, so basically, KJ made a miss and then made the, made the play happen to, I believe, Dominique, you know. And uh, it was one play. Our defense was playing so well, and – and, uh, you know, still had too many penalties on both sides of the ball with nine. And I think they had fewer than that, maybe six. But uh, we just – we tried to run the ball or adjust was trying to get the ball up the, up the middle. Uh, they were too fast for us. We were able to block their linebackers. Eight, and uh, we couldn't hold up protecting them. So – well, I don't know that we did a little. We did a little bit better in the second half, but um, they were they were very very good defense tonight, and we struggled. But KJ found a way to make enough plays. Okay, and finally, you won the turnover battle three to nothing. And can you describe Monteric's pick there? You know, in overtime. Well, you know, we won the toss, and we we went. We elected to go on defense, and. You know, I thought we had them earlier, and then they made a really good catch on third down and got to the 11. And then, you know, they threw the pick. Mo, Mo picked the ball. They didn't throw it. He, he went and got it. He, he went and picked the ball. And then at that point, I told uh, KB that uh, we were going to run it um, twice to center it. And if we didn't make a first down, Cam was going to go win the game. And that's exactly what happened. And Man, how nice is it to have a kicker that you know if you put it in the middle of the field, he's going to make it, and it doesn't matter what the pressure is. Um, but when Mo picked it off, I thought we had a chance. Coach? Yeah, Coach, I was going to ask you about Cam and, and just your confidence in him, and what, what was his kind of attitude and kind of how he looked during that timeout before kicking the field goal? I didn't look at him. I was talking to the wings and the tight ends about – handling the edge pressure. Uh, but I pretty much felt like if he got the ball up that he was going to make it. Uh, you know, ironically, when we faked the field goal in the third quarter, I believe it was the third, um, Cam was the most excited guy whenever I said, hey, we're going to fake it because he, he felt like it was there all night. And uh, and sure enough, Bauer went down and, and did it. But that just shows you how uh, – unselfish uh, that Cam is, you know, anybody, everybody else would have wanted to kick it. Now it ended up being a three pointer uh, cause we weren't able to convert and score a touchdown, but uh, he's just a really good kid. I think he was two for two tonight. Is that correct? Three for th two for two, three for three. 
three for three and uh, and an extra point. So very, very valuable. And on that fake, uh, is that something y'all put in to this week or was that something y'all had all season? And was it a look that you thought you were going to get? Well, we, we've been wrapping wrap a fake every week. And we just felt real, real confident after what they showed us on the uh, first extra point that uh, we knew, you know, because a year ago they blocked a field goal uh, for us to tie. And we felt like we could slow the rush down if, if, if we faked it. And, and we felt like, you know, obviously you're not going to call it if you don't feel like you can get it. But the numbers were there and the kids executed it really well. And Bauer turned on the wheels, you know. All right, I don't know if you've got more questions. Bob. Hey, Sam, congrats. Um, what do you think of your defense tonight? Even in overtime, they only gave up 13 points, only three, a little over 300 yards and got the three takeaways. Just what do you think of their performance overall? Well, you could tell that the, that the game plan for LSU was to run the ball, and they felt like they could run the ball on us. And, uh, you know, they, they had some success, but I would think we had a little bit more success of stopping it. Uh, I thought our defense, Barry did a nice job, of, and the defensive staff of going from four to three down and uh, give them a little bit different looks. This is probably the – well, it is. I know it's the most we blitzed all year, but it's also um, the most multiple that we've been as well. So I thought they mixed it up well. I thought the kids executed the plan. We tackled pretty darn good tonight. And of course, getting to three turnovers with the botch snap on the Wildcat and then uh, Mo picking off two of them was basically the difference of the game. And, and Messmeyer, he's obviously got a ton of talent, a big arm and all that. But do you think maybe you guys were able to, I don't know, frustrate him a little bit? Or, you know, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Bobby, you know, he just, he hadn't played much ball. So I, I, can't, I you know, Ed probably have a better answer than, than me on that. Hey, Coach. Nice win. Um, the reaction to your players, that's why you get into coaching, to see them come down here and win a game like this. And these seniors that uh, hey, have man. lost so many in a row, that's what you get into coaching for, isn't it? Hey, Amen. That's it. I mean, you know, if you can't – I mean, there's a lot of things going on in coaching. But the number one thing better be them kids, the number one. And I think that's what we do here at the University of Arkansas. And whenever they go out, I mean, we had a lot of guys banged up, beat up, guys, that they just kept coming. I'm sure LSU did too. I'm not taking anything away from LSU. I'm talking about our kids. And then to get in there in the locker room and see their face and how they reacted, to go on the road and do that. I mean, I, I mean, everybody got on me last time because I said it was a Super Bowl, but – I can say whatever I want because that's how I feel. And and I feel that this is a huge, huge win for our program. And if somebody doesn't think it is, well, that's fine. But I do. And that's why I'm saying it. Christina? Go Hogs. We just but beat LSU changed. on the road. Go Hogs. You mentioned um, that you don't usually like to talk about players in the locker room post game, but you talked about Mo specifically. What did you say, or what did you have to say, shout out Mo for? Them two, them two wonderful, beautiful picks that he had tonight, and uh, of course, little Cam, you know, kicking those three field goals. So I know his name's Cam Little, but I call him Little Cam. But his leg ain't big. Cam is his leg, but. Anyway, that's why, because Cam, you know, Cam did such a good job. And I just never do, but, I mean, guy picked, picked a pass in overtime, gave us a chance for Cam Little to go in there and kick a field goal and win. Big, big pick. Big. Huge. Bye. Yeah, Coach, would you, their defense loaded the box. I don't think anybody's yeah. really done that to stop the run. And just talk about the the – pressure that put on your quarterback well we tried a little bit of everything you know we tried his runs which again a loaded box means an even box because you have a quarterback running the ball but we you know had a hard we were trying to go 
different thing we just had a hard time of blocking them and in third down they'd go zero and we didn't have enough time to throw a, sl a slant or a post or a go ball and if we did uh you know it was short the slant uh, one of the slants was was going to be short anyway but they 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 loaded up because they had one single high and sometimes no safety back there and said hey if you're going to beat us you're going to have and uh, ironically the touchdown we had was a was a pass, but it was one where KJ had to, you know, had a hot receiver and he just made the guy miss the tackle and came out and threw a touchdown pass. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't think Trey heard you. Trey. The main okay, yeah, I didn't hear you. Uh, hey, coach, I was just uh, wanting to uh, ask you about uh, what you thought about the resiliency of the defense, especially early on in the in the, in the front seven. Also, when the offense was having trouble converting yeah. third downs and just asking them to go out there over and over and over again, and they were they were stout. Yeah, they saved us. You know, they saved the team. You know, by and you know the offense has done that in different games. You know, where they came back and scored. You know, when when they needed to and all that. Proud I was of them that you know we, we won as a team the first half. I mean, really kept us in, and then uh, you know we we had the ball coming out in the second half. Couldn't do, you know, we moved it a little bit better, but I think we got stalled somewhere around the fifty. But um, yeah, they played big uh, again. LSU was going to run the ball to beat us, and and uh, just they weren't you know able to run it well enough. You know, to beat us, and and you have to give Barry and his staff and them kids a lot of credit. Seemed like KJ, you know, just kind of scrambling and buying time, ended up being the best offense you had. Uh, why do you think the screen game didn't work though? Y'all called a lot of them, but I mean, they're blitzing like they were. It seemed like that would have that would. Well, we didn't block them, Trey. We we didn't block them. I mean, mm -hmm. we we were sitting there in man to man, and and uh, we missed a ton of blocks. And I'm talking about from the wide receivers, but I'm talking about from the interior linemen, you know, basically somebody's got that back and we were trying to pick him with a lineman and we couldn't get him, we couldn't get him picked. Now we did in practice, but uh, we couldn't get the guy picked and, and uh, our edge blocking wasn't very good tonight. If I had anything, I'm not going to say negative because if I had anything, there's a lot of things we have to get better at, but we'll worry about tomorrow, I guess. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Nate? Sam, just, well, how do you feel that they, they were able to stifle Burks and kind of what did you all do to try and make them compensate for that? Well, we kept trying to get him the ball, you know, as much as we could. The problem, to be honest with you, how they stopped trailing Burks tonight is they rushed more than we could protect. I mean, that's the bottom line. And, teams in the past have done that and he's beat them on a slant or a go ball and we just didn't we didn't get that done tonight I thought they their their uh, safeties and their corners uh, played really really uh, aggressive and they did a nice job and we just didn't have enough time uh, to get the ball you know we tried to like I say we tried to change it get some screens we tried to roll away from it we tried to do some things but uh, it didn't work it worked you know, one, enough to win the game. But, we're, you know, we're going to see that again, uh, I'm sure, from Alabama and from Missouri. So we we got to get that fixed. Thank you. Last one, Bob. My Lord, we're setting a league record in here. Hey, Sam, you guys are 2-0 and now in these trophy games. Broke a long losing streak to A&M, broke a long losing streak to LSU. You can break a long losing streak to Missouri. Not, not you, you know, but Arkansas can. He hadn't lost all those teams all those years, but just how big is that? And what do you plan to do with the boot uh, as far as displaying it and stuff? Well, we're going to put just where we put the Southwest Classic right on the floor in the um, lobby. And it's going to sit there for a day. And then we'll find a place to put it. But for a day, it's going to, I told the kids, we're going to put it right in the middle of the floor and that's where we're going to put it. Uh, and then, yeah, we've got one more game to play uh, for a trophy, but that's, you know, after we, we're going to celebrate tonight, but 
we got Alabama next week. You know, I mean, <laughs> it's the life of the SEC West. But, um, yeah, we'd like to get them all. But certainly we're not ready to even talk about that until uh, that week comes. Thanks, Coach. Go Hogs.